G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here and welcome to episode number 6 of season number 1 of my Arsenal Next Gen Career Mode series. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, make sure you check out FIFAcoinsBuy.com. The link will be in the description. Uh, but we're going to kick off the episode guys with a huge matchup, a Champions Cup matchup against PSG at the Parc de Prince, I believe it is. Uh, so that's in France. PSG, uh, definitely going to be a difficult opposition. We are in the group of death. We have PSG, Real Madrid, and Galatasaray. So it's going to be very, very difficult. But you will notice that Ibrahimovic is not starting for PSG. So that is definitely going to work in our favour. Uh, he does come off the bench later in the match. Uh, but we're going to kick into the highlights now. It's going to be Lovetsy on the ball, getting it past Carl Jenkinson. But a great uh, backup tackle there from Jenkinson to force the corner. And off the corner, Matweedy, who was with us in our Newcastle crew. Let's get a whip it into Alex. Alex gets a header on it, but a great save there from Chesney. Uh, El Shirai on the ball. Be, be a great bit of skill there. Uh, it ends up in the feet of Gibbs. Gibbs is going to whip it into De Jong. De Jong with the header. Great save there from Sirigu. And a double save there from Sirigu. Excellent stuff. And on the stroke of half time, it is Oxlade Chamberlain getting played up the wing there from De Jong. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain. He's going to whip it into the box to Mesut Ozil. Ozil with the header. Straight past Sirigu to give us a lead on the stroke of half time. 1 0 against PSG. Definitely not what we were expecting. I was just hoping for a draw, uh, but to be 1-0 up against PSG, that is definitely an awesome accomplishment. Uh, in the home leg, I would expect to be in the lead, but uh, not when we are playing in France. Definitely a hostile atmosphere, and we have taken the lead. Uh, we just need to hold on now for the second half, and we're going to try our best. Lovetsy smashing it to the left-hand side. I don't know how he can put that in the net, uh, back of the net. Definitely a great opportunity there, missed by PSG. Uh, that was just, I don't even know how you miss it that far to the left when you're shooting off your right, but oh well. Uh, Lovetsy is now going to play it to Matuidi. Matuidi to Jeremy Meadows on the stroke of full time. A great save there from Chesney, keeping us uh, in the lead in the 19th minute. We just need now to defend this cross. It's going to be Lovetsy whipping it into Marquinhos. It goes to Ozil. Ozil plays it out to Oxley Chamberlain, and that is full time, guys. We defeat PSG 1 0. In France, an awesome, awesome accomplishment from the lads. Gaining three very, very, very valuable competition points in our Champions League group stages. Uh, if we can manage to progress to the uh, knockout stages of the Champions League, I will be very impressed from the lads. Uh, we definitely have the hardest group in the competition. Uh, we're going to turn our attention now to the Premier League as we have an away fixture against West Bromwich Albion. The first match in snow for the season. So this is going to be very, very difficult. West Bromwich Albion definitely a great side in real life. Uh, last season when they had Lukaku, they were unstoppable for half the season. Uh, but heading into the match, we are sitting in 8th on 11 points. A win here could bolster us uh, straight up to the top of the table, so that would be definitely uh, an awesome, awesome accomplishment. Uh, that is the West Bromwich Albion side. Nicholas and Elk is starting for them, and so is Sassignon. Uh, hopefully, we can defend them very, very well and get three points. Uh, but Nicholas and Elk is on the ball. He's going to lob it over the top there to Sassignon on the stroke of half time. A pretty boring game in the first half. Uh, he's going to take a shot, and it's into the back of the net, and that really annoys me. I absolutely hate it when you want to one with a player, and the goalkeeper goes over the top of the ball. That just annoys me. I, I hate it when the ball just goes under the goalkeeper. That really frustrates me. Uh, and unfortunately, Chesney had to have, have that happen to him uh, against Sessegnon. Just look at this. This is uh, it's just annoying when that happens. I just hate that physics. Uh, but in the 47th minute, Flamini is on the ball. He's going to pass it to Theo Walker in the speed stuff. Crosses it into Podolski. Podolski with the header. He gets to pass the keeper to make it a one or score line in exactly the 48th minute. A great piece of a uh, comeback, I suppose you could say, after conceding the goal on either side of half time. Uh, awesome stuff there from Podolski to score one of his first goals uh, for the season. It's going to be uh, Sessegnon on the ball yet again. The goal scorer from early on in the match. Getting tackled there from Flamini. Flamini notices Cazorla making a great run. Cazorla with the shot. And what a goal there from Santa Cazorla. 20 yards down, I'm going to guess, in the 67th minute. That is awesome stuff to give us the lead. He thought, didn't think twice about it. Just unleashed the shot as soon as it came to his feet. Awesome stuff there from Santa Cazorla to hopefully give us the three points in this matchup. 
Awesome, awesome stuff. The away fans, obviously, very, very pleased. Now, that was a beautiful ball, but just, oh, that is a beautiful strike. The next-gen replays and physics make it look so much better, but that is just awesome, guys. Very happy with Cthulhu. He hasn't been getting a lot of gameplay or game time, uh, but with strikes like that, I will definitely hope he would be getting a lot more game time in the future. But we're going to finish the matchup with a 2-1 victory over West Bromwich Albion. Great, great comeback from the lads on in the second half. Our final match of the episode, though, is a home match finally at the Emirates against Norwich City in the pouring rain. Uh, we should comfortably win this matchup, I'm hoping. Uh, Norwich, not the hardest of opposition now. They've lost John Ruddy. Uh, they do have Mark Bunning goals, I think. Uh, but heading into the matchup, we are sitting in fifth position, five points behind the league leaders, Everton, surprisingly. Uh, so hopefully we can pick up three points comfortably here, increase our goal difference, and push up further in the ladder. Uh, this is our starting 11. It is a pretty strong side. Uh, we're playing our full strength side, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so hopefully we can pick up three points with the side. We do have a Marlin instead of Murasaka, who did play in the last game. Uh, but this is the Norwich City side. As I said, they have Mark Barney in goals. They have Whittaker for Song. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent side. If they were in the championship, they would absolutely dominate. But uh, I, I, oh, Norwich are a good team. Norwich are a good team. Don't get me wrong. But uh, we should be able to comfortably take control this matchup and we prove our dominance in the 11th minute as Stefan El Shirari gets an early goal to give us a 1-0 advantage. Awesome, awesome stuff there from El Shirari. Definitely been a great signing, one of my best investments. Uh, but one man who has not been a good investment is uh, John Gadetti. Not hasn't scored a goal yet and he's had like five games so that's not very good. Hopefully he can get a goal in game soon. Uh, but a great goal there from Riziki. No, it's not Riziki, excuse me, it's Ramsey. We sold Riziki. Uh, but Aaron Ramsey getting a great goal and a bit of a weird celebration. He's trying to hug Luke Young, but that's not happening. Uh, but he gets, ends up just getting tackled from Koscielny, I believe that is. Uh, so a great goal there from Ramsey to give us a 2-0 advantage. But on the stroke of half time, Snodgrass whips it into Basong. Basong with the header. It goes out to Johnny Housen. And Housen gets it past Chesney to make it a 2-1 score. And making this matchup a little bit more interesting, a little bit more tight uh, than we would have hoped to. So hopefully we can get a few goals in the second half to increase our advantage and uh, run away with it. But uh, De Jong is on the ball. He's going to pass it to Ramsey. Ramsey with some great footwork. He's going to unleash a shot yet again. And Ramsey picks up his second goal for the match, making it a 3-1 scoreline against Norwich City. Awesome stuff there from Aaron Ramsey doing the gunning down celebration. That is just a great strike and a great piece of footwork uh, to get past the final line of defence. Very, very pleased with Ramsey's progress this season. In the 90th minute, though, game's pretty much over. Mikel Arteta is going to play it through to Stefan El Shirari, and the Italian cuts him to the centre of the box. Uh, he's going to finesse it around Mark Bunn and give us a 4-1 advantage, all but securing the win. The win. Uh, Definitely a great game from El Sharari and Ramsey combined, scoring all of our goals. Uh, but that's how we're going to wrap up the episode, guys. Uh, we defeat Norwich City 4-1 in a Premier League matchup, giving us three very, very valuable competition points. Very, very happy with uh, how the lads performed with that matchup. Ramsey and El Sharari both kicking up doubles. But it has been Jared HD here with episode number six of season one of my Arsenal Next Gen Career Mode series. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. If we can hit 25 likes on the episode, that would be amazing. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at JaredHD. Link will be in the description down below. Uh, but most importantly, guys, have an awesome day. Make sure you answer the question of the day. And I'll speak to you soon. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.